वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टुडे विल सी हाउ टू प्रिंट अ डीटीएफ रोल ऑन इप्सन एल एट वन एल वन एट जीरो फाइव जीरो और इप्सन एल एट जीरो फाइव जीरो टुडे आई एल बी गाइडिंग यू थ्रू द कंप्लीट प्रोसेस वी आर यूजिंग एक्रो रिप लेवन पॉइंट टू एंड जिगरोल वर्जन फोर सो लेट्स बिगिन मेक श्योर यू डू नो यू फॉलो अ कंप्लीट प्रोसेस एज इट इज You have to feed the paper in landscape mode, not the portrait mode. A4 should not be like this. It should be in landscape mode, the long edge fit. Okay. Once it is done, we'll open Zigroll version four, and we will hit on load roll. Before loading the roll, make sure you have already set up the printer. You can see other videos once you purchase how to set up the printer and all. So I have set up a virtual printer, Zigroll. Now. what we need to do we have to load the roll so go to main screen of the software print click on 18050 load and click on load roll load roll or roll road uh, load paper okay here you can see we have already set up the printer in my case it is uh, copy 9 so you have to select the proper printer here and i am using ms publisher uh, settings only Okay, so let's select this and save and exit. Now click on load roll. So paper will take the paper inside. Ah, uh, printer will take the paper inside. Sorry. And you have to use ah uh, paper only. You can't uh, directly use a pet film. You don't have to tape a pet film now. Once the paper is inside, the head will move and stop. This is where we have. triggered the printer now you have to feed the lo uh, load the roll on the top of the a4 paper cut the roll straight it has to be very straight and then you have to feed it inside on the software interface you can see eject to cut or feed to cut on older version we had uh, eject to cut now feed to cut you can use now feed it feed it okay you just have to click there and the roll will be taken inside so here you can see we have not used any kind of tape on the sheet nothing now we will create a file i'll delete the previous files first we'll create a file from uh, acrodip 11.2 now let's delete all the files i'll be uh, Uh, restarting the software okay uh, in acrorip make sure you have to select a newly uh, installed virtual printer in my case i have written it zigroll so you have to select zigroll port here roll port is zigroll the printer port and rest of the settings you can do it on your own like the ink limit and everything after that go to print i am selecting white because i am doing dtf right now Okay, I have initiated the print. What will happen once you hit the print? Once the print is ripped, the image is ripped. You will see that file in Zigroll uh, software. Okay, from there you can manage the job. So you can keep all the files ripped, and uh, afterwards you can keep on printing the ripped files. Okay, this is our first file. we will select the file you can rename it if you want and we will hit on print okay make sure you have selected the printer also so as soon as you uh, hit on print the print will start there are few other uh, roll softwares also we have uh, tested we try to uh, print a roll but uh, no by far this is the only software uh, that works perfectly fine with uh, l18050 and l18 l8050 for dtf other softwares are not at all working this is completely tested version of zigroll here you can see i have added some uh, hot melt powder below so that there will be a less friction and the paper will come out easily also keep this part very loose
you should always have a chip resetter to reset the maintenance box i've seen people using vacuum and all for these printers but i've never uh, faced any issue even if i'm not using vacuum i'm using just a output tray to print this and till the time uh, it's printing one image you can rip one more image so uh, it's very easy actually easy to use software you can just keep on adding uh, jobs from the back end and once the zigrule has all the jobs you can uh, just keep it ripped and within a second you can start the next prints i'll add one more uh, print job just to show you guys that you can print non stop and with these printers actually you should not uh, add very long length files no doubt these are this is a very good printer but these are anyways modified uh, printer so so you shouldn't be expecting mm, more than this so i've added one more file i'll uh, this this is already done right now we are printing on 720 720 dpi you can increase the resolution i'll add this file now the file is getting loaded we are printing from acrorip to zigrol now so from zigrol now you can manage you don't have to do it again rip the software rip the print again and again you can also always uh, duplicate the files in numbers like five five repeats five repetitions six repetitions the file is getting added okay the file is added in the software now so open the zigrol select the second print reload reload the file we have a new file here select a new file and hit on start it will again start printing immediately so hardly 1 inches of uh, margin i have kept uh, that's in the software that's a standard uh, margin in the software here you can also uh, once the job is printed you can again print the previous job also so this is how you can manage all the printing jobs so paper should always come flat out and we have made some arrangements such kind of arrangements so that there won't be any scratches on the print because i am not using vacuum on this and believe me it's very easy unless you try it you can't do it actually you have to try it on your own and get it done so paper will come out flat and it will bend down it will go down you can afterwards you can cut and keep on printing and please note if you are already buying the software on paypal you should uh, if you have questions you should ask before buying right now we are using this software on l18050 without any kind of uh, motherboard modifications or any kind of forward reverse modules and all so it works very well if you are using pepw it might uh, eject the paper so this is on a blind uh, 18050 printer we have just removed the rollers and we have used the software so no pepw bypass and all we have done all right we can again print a new job or the previous job that we have printed uh, will start the job you can also select uh, both files together we have again started the previous uh, job the first job that we ripped so this is a beauty of this software a rip and store you don't have to rip or print again and again you just have to select it from zigrol and that's it you can see paper is coming out straight and it will bend down it's a very good printer actually you might uh, face an issue uh, of uh, the printer speed slow down for that you can use iwfo module for uh, cr motors any any ipson printer will actually slow down because it's not uh, dedicated dtf printer but yes there is an option you can use iwfo module so now it is printing no scratches because you can see the arrangement of the printer how we have arranged uh, how we have managed to avoid scratches
so paper is coming out flat smoothly it is going down so this kind of arrangement you have to make that's it that's it from my end there are some uh, in depth uh, videos of the printer you can check the quality of print so there are uh, videos for each and every uh, step there are dedicated uh, there is a dedicated channel for this once you buy the software we will be sending you all the videos the pdf manual all the options that are available in the software and yes this uh, software works for 18050 sorry 18008058 you can directly print sublimation and any other label printing without having to use acrorip but on 18050 you have to use acrorip so thanks for watching prabodh this side from creative thank you